and you are 60 years old and then you're like you know what i'm going to start with my idea do you have enough time to bring it to life i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe so how do i protect my idea this is an interesting question and the thing is there is no correct way that's my answer for this there is no correct way to protect your idea but there is something that you can do in order to prevent people from stealing it and it all depends on what you are doing as a person or not so what is the thing think about it if i have an idea let's say this is me i have an idea so this is the idea and what people will say the best thing to do is keep it a secret yes I do not disagree with them. Yeah, keep it a secret. The reason is this. I saw a lot of people, they had great ideas. Seriously, they have great idea. But the problem with idea is you don't have the resources. You don't have the money. You don't have the people. You don't have the things to make the idea come to life. And if you look at copyright, especially in Australia, copyright in Australia, idea is not protected and in most country idea itself is not protected the way how you execute an idea that's protected and i can understand why they do that the reason is simple everybody can have a big idea but bring the idea to life that's something else you see for um, you see a lot of people they come up with a great idea but when it comes to execution they do not know where to start and if you write down the way how you execute the way how you execute the idea or the way how you're going to execute the idea that thing that you wrote down can meet the requirements of copyright so i'd say it a lot when you look at copyright in order to get copyright you need to make sure you meet the requirements of copyright so when you look at copyright you always have three things a b and c a is the copyright itself, B is the copyright holder, and C is the other person who wants to use it, but it's not important right now. You will only get the copyright if you meet the requirements of copyright. If you do not meet the requirements of copyright, you don't have a copyright. So you can claim that your idea is protected by copyright, but if you do not meet the requirements of copyright, the other person, C can say, hey, since when do you meet the requirements of copyright? So I don't need a license. And sometimes people be like, hey, it was my idea, so you need to pay me for it. But uh, pay you for what? It was your idea, but I'm executed. You understand what I mean? Eh? And that's the thing with copyright, and some people do not realize that. When you look at copyright, you need to think about, okay, do I meet the requirement of copyright? That's a simple question. But... Uh, it's not about idea and copyright right now. The question is, how do I protect my idea? Answer is simple. Keep it a secret. But the thing is with the secret, so this copyright rules, if you look at it, sometimes when people, when they meet requirements of copyright, they have copyright on it. The copyright holder, let's say you have an idea, you meet requirement of copyright, and you want to protect it, most time you don't have the resources to go after someone that copied your idea. That's something you need to keep in mind. You need to make sure that you have resources to protect it if you make it public. Sorry about this. Another thing is when you have an idea, most time you keep it a secret. And when you talk with someone else, you let them sign an NDA. Yeah. NDA is fun. Seriously, it's fun. So people make an NDA, they sign it and you discuss the idea with other person but the problem is what if the other person promise that they will not share your idea but they share it your idea with another company can you go after them according to the contract you can but do you have the resources to go after them do you have the money to um, file a legal suit most time people don't or they do not know where to start and that's the thing with an NDA. So the best thing for idea is to keep it a secret okay? and only share it with people 
that you really need in order to bring that idea to life. If you don't do that, the chances are people are going to use your idea and you cannot do anything about that because you don't have the resources. So if you have an NDA and you have someone and you think, okay, they do not meet the requirements of the NDA, so they do not keep the agreement, you can go after them, but think about it for a second. Is it worth going after them to get a little bit of money or is it better for you to spend that time and energy and that money to make your idea better? Because an idea is great. The way how you execute it or the way how you bring it to life is better. When someone copy your idea, it doesn't mean they do, will do it better or worse. The question is, how would you do it? Yeah. And think about it. When you have an idea and you want to protect it, you can protect it. But is it worth protecting? Let's say you have a great idea for years. Years passed by and you didn't do anything about that. You didn't even start. And you are 60 years old and then you're like, you know what? I'm going to start with my idea. Do you have enough time to bring it to life? You understand what I mean? What I'm trying to say is when you look at protecting your idea, think about it. Is it worth protecting or not? And if you're going to protect it, what are you going to protect it from? And do you have the resources to protect it? Do you have the money to protect it when someone copy your idea? And if you go after someone, are you going to get all your money back? Sometimes you see some cases and you'll be like, dude, are you stupid? Because you could have used this money to make your company better, but now you're going to go after someone and you lose the fight. You need to pay a lot of money. You understand what I mean? So the question, it's, it's a valid question. Seriously, it's, it's a valid question. But think about it for a second when you have an idea. I'm not trying to make it complicated for you. Keep it simple. Is it worth investing time in those people or not? Is it worth investing time in your idea? That's something you need to think about that. So, if you have a question about idea of copyright in Australia, what you can do is you can join the law center and you can ask me a question directly. And if you have a legal issue and you want some legal advice, you can join one of the legal sessions. You just press here in the free legal advice. By the way, the link of this, you will find it in the description. You can find, yeah, you just press it and you join the law center. It's a community where we have a lot of people where you can share ideas or tips, business tips or whatever. And I help you as far as I can. And you can get legal, free legal advice there. And if you find this information inf um, useful and you can use it and you want to support me, buy me coffee. It's only $3. You just press this link, you buy me coffee, uh, tea, doesn't matter, now I'm drinking tea, so why not buy me one and support me? I have a dream, that's all I need, I'll make it happen with some work and belief, know what I want, so I'll take it on, I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong, let's break it down for a minute, I want the crown, I'm gonna get it, you hear me loud, man, I'm winning, yeah, Charlie Sheen will be